Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. I'm Matt. And I'm Tim. Smash that like button. We're coming live today to bring you a live Q&A and talk about Fun Flower Friday. We're talking some more about the open house. And uh, we're excited to have you here this morning. We appreciate everybody joining in uh, for this live plant Q&A and talking a little bit about each of these things. Yeah, we were planning to go live at 11.05. We might make that a thing on Fridays and Mondays. Uh, so it might be something we start doing regularly if it's something you're interested in. Uh, we were going to go live at 11.05, but we went a little bit long doing the Arishiyama Monkey Park. So Tim and I have been shooting a little bit of a video on some of our travels in Japan. And uh, yeah, I wanted to hop in here. We got our uh, green on for St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there. Uh, hope you're having a good Friday. Hope you had not frozen already from all this crazy weather we've been having. We did a live Q&A talking about getting ready for that. Guys, that, that forecast has been uh, getting worse for us here in our area. So we're going to be having some pretty cold temperatures Sunday morning, Monday morning, and Tuesday morning across the south. That may vary depending on where you're at, but check your temperatures. I definitely would recommend continuing to cover plants for Sunday morning, uh, Monday morning, and Tuesday morning if you're in our region. Uh, you know, Check out where you're at, but be, uh, be ready to be prepared to protect some. Anything that's further along and in leaf, uh, go ahead and do some protection. And then next week, be thinking about, you know, water them in well. Well, guys, I mean, we've got so many cool announcements coming up with the open house. We've got March 24th. That's Friday, March 24th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We've got an open house. You can go to our website and uh, click on the information about our open house. Uh, we've got our open house, which we're real excited about, is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Friday, March 24th. And for people who couldn't make it then, we've got it on Saturday, March 25th, from 8 a.m. to noon. And on this during this time, we're going to have Japanese maples in leaf that are look pretty amazing. And we've already got a lot of things leafing out in the greenhouse. We're right. still a week away, so a lot more plants are going to be in leaf. You're going to get to see spring color on a lot of Japanese maples. And this is going to be one of the earliest times we've ever had here at Mr. Maple in the spring with trees in leaf. Hey, on one good note, the weather keeps getting better for open house. So the weather looks bad at the beginning of the week, but the weather keeps getting better uh, for Friday. So it looks like it's getting warmer. Might even be up in the 70s for Friday and Saturday here in Western North Carolina. Guys, uh, you can always join that live chat if you're watching this. Uh, We answer live Q&A on these two. So if you have questions, feel free to throw them into the chat. I do have it up beside me right here on my phone. So you can always... Uh, put a ch- put a comment there, and we'll try to get to it if we can. Uh, Brian has been killing it with the shorts lately. So Brian's been adding shorts, and uh, I added one yesterday that got a pretty good uh, response. Uh, you talking Ma- about you talking about your joke, or you talking about my dance? Well, Maple Maniac said the <laughs> highlight of his week was the yellow dance. So. Oh, the yellow dance, the yellow dance. <laughs> Tim, Tim rocks the Carlton every time somebody buys a yellow plant. That's how it works. <laughs> so if you buy a yellow plant from us, know that Tim's here dancing. Hey, yellow is pretty amazing. Now, with our open house that's coming up on March 24th and 25th, we announced at our last live chat that there's going to be large material. We've got a lot of over 500 10-gallon oh, Japanese maples that will be available for the first time at open house. That is pretty darn spectacular. We never had People always say, guys, when are you going to have larger material? When are you going to have larger material? The open house. You can come shop in person. A lot of that stuff won't be in leaf yet. Right, because the it's, bigger stuff won't be. The bigger stuff won't be because it's been outdoors. But this stuff is going to be amazing. It's going to have amazing size, and when it leaves out, it's going to be even bigger. And so you're going to be pretty excited to see all these cool rare specimens. We're not talking about your basics. We're talking about some amazing specimen plants in seven gallons. So There's some crazy stuff. I know Tim read that whole list last time. Guys, if you like this kind of content, let us know too. We may start doing... Live at 11.05 on Mondays and Fridays is kind of what I'm on. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But uh, th- those are the time frames I'm thinking about really trying to hop on here and do more Q&A content. And uh, we like to let our 9 a.m. Premier, premiere, you know, breathe a little bit. So 11.05 gives you time to shop if it's uh, a Fun Flower Friday or a uh, 10 at 10 on Tuesday. But, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff to go over. So you can throw your questions in here. We're going to talk a little bit about Fun Flower Friday as well today and some of the cool plants that we have on there. Uh, you know, most people know us for the 10 at 10, and we actually had 20 new trees every single Tuesday at 10, which you know. Uh, but 
probably lesser known as our Fun Flower Friday offerings. And we had at least 10 uh, interesting flowering plants every single Friday at 10 a.m. So it's basically <laughs> we put 30 plants on our website every week between those two days. It keeps us busy. But there's a lot of interesting plants that are new this week or returning this week to Mr. Maple. And uh, we'd like to talk a little bit about some of those cool plants. Guys, we're talking about fun flower Fridays. If anyone's went to that. And, and you've been had singing and dancing circle. a lot more in the videos lately. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say. Tim, Tim's, uh, I don't know, he's got a lot more dance and a lot more Dude, song. spring's here. Spring is yeah, here. he was singing spring, in the 10 at 10 we shot yesterday, too. I don't spring know Spring has sprung, and it gets you excited walking through the greenhouses. I mean, just seeing these plants leafing out, we've been waiting all winter. We see that anticipation of spring, seeing Japanese maples leaf out in the greenhouses. It gets an extra spring in your step. Grayson Schisler asked if we'll have any seven-gallon snow kittens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could probably get like a, like a seven-gallon like yellow cat. There's one that hangs out in the nursery. <laughs> there'll be some surprises. I'm not going to lie. I don't think there'll be any snow kittens this trip. But uh, there'll be some cool surprises. You won't be disappointed. So, Pierre's Japonica Mountain Fire on this uh, Fun Flower Friday. We've offered it before. It sells out pretty quickly. But that's a cool Pierre's Japonica that has a lot of that red new growth to it. Um, that bright red new growth gives this plant almost something extra special, even when it's not blooming. And then you get those white blooms on it that are pretty spectacular as well. And that just adds that extra dimension to this plant but you get the white blooms, and then you get red new growth. So it's a, it's a pretty awesome uh, Pierce Japanese Adromeda. They look awesome right now, honestly. I'm a big fan of the of kind of just the flower set they put on, but the new growth is awesome. You get that just flaming color. I mean, I, I'm a country boy, too. I grew up with Marshall Tucker Band, so I know Fire on the Mountain. So shout out if you know what I'm talking about there. We, we I, I grew up listening to Southern Rock, so... Uh, there's there's definitely a fun connection there for me. Now, this is one of my all-time favorite rhododendrons. Uh, we have rhododendron ever red. It's all one word. And, uh, yeah, this one can get tricky selling Japanese maples named ever red as well. But I would say this is one of my favorite all-time rhododendrons. I mean, not only do you get red foliage, but you get the red flower. It's just crazy. And you actually get these kind of funky blue-green hues. I mean, it looks really crazy in the summer. It kind of has a ethereal blue color to it in the summer. Yeah, we had offered this before in a two-gallon size. Mm -hmm. I prefer to offer them in one-gallon sizes because that shipping cost is much lower. Yeah, we first and offered this in a one, then then got a few to twos. Uh, we're back to ones again, guys. More bang for your buck there. They're a super dwarf compact plant. They're super rare. Uh, I know, you know, People, Tony Avent was at our nursery and saw this and went crazy for it. It's a plant that plant collectors love. Uh, amazing colors on it, even in the summer. You kind of get some just weird overall shades on it. But uh, red on red, really cool. Now, this one's going to work zone six through nine, and you're going to get some intense burgundy color. It's just a funky plant. I, I'm planning on putting some of these out. I actually saved some of those twos. And I don't know if you saw our video with the uh, the giant high graph yellow cascades, but my plan is to get some ever reds around the base of those, so they'll kind of have that contrast with those yellow cascades. I think this is my favorite time when this plant gives this maroon fading to like a bluish green with some red in there. I mean that color is just unreal, and that's not even like blooming. I mean you add that red bloom in there on top of that, and you have just a rock star plant out in the landscape and garden. Guys, we're bringing back Heartledge Wine. We'd sold out a, a few months ago or a month ago, and uh, we've got this available again. And Heartledge Wine just gets those really, really large blooms. I mean, this is a hybrid that was created at the J.C. Ralston. That's where you get that species, mm -hmm. Raustonia, where they hybridize the native uh, flowering sweet shrub, Carolina allspice, with a uh, Carolacanthus uh, chinensis. Mm -hmm. And you just got that large, large bloom. This one's going to work five through nine. Uh, it is a dense shrub, so it's very multi-stemmed typically in its habits. When you have this in the landscape, you know it's going to be a multi-stemmed, you know, six to eight foot, even in a 10-year period, but an amazing plant. They actually have a nice smell to them, too. They're kind of a spicy, sweet smell. Uh, almost kind of reminds me more of like an aftershave type smell. And 
the fall color is typically a good yellow on Hartledge wine as well, so it typically gives you a good uh, color for a shrub as well. But these plants just pair so well with some of these Japanese maples. I mean, mm-hmm. some morning sun. Oh, this some is a cantus plant. I mean, it, it goes so well in our gardens that it's an easy plant to pair out there just to give something a little different with a large bloom. Flowers are excellent on that one. We love Cornus Cusa, as you know, and we've got Cornus Cusa Summer Majesty coming back today. So this is a uh, one that blooms mid-spring through the summer, white blossoms near every branch, and has a rounded sh- shape and a heavy bloom sh- uh, heavy bloom set. And so this is back on Mr. Maple now. We'd sold out for probably a year or so, and uh, just now becoming back available on MrMaple.com, and that's Cornus Cusa Summer Majesty. One that you don't find that common out there in the nursery trade, but it's a Cornus Cusa. And the Cornus Cusas, I love them because they're disease resistant. We're talking, you know, they're not going to get the powdery mildew that some of the Cornus Floridas will get. Mm -hmm. Um, They're going to be a plant that can go out there in the landscape and handle a lot out there in the sun here in Western North Carolina where you find those Cornus Floridas in a little more protected locations. Yeah, great plant. Um, Okay, so next up, this is definitely one of my all-time favorites. Guys, this is a climbing hydrangea called Cougar Variegated. Uh, that's a cell phone picture I took of it <laughs> like a couple years ago when we first started doing it. This is going to work zones four through eight, so it's very durable and uh, just a cool plant. I mean, you know I say this a lot, but I like when the foliage is the flower. The flower is a bonus for me. Uh, this thing, you know, it doesn't need to be flower, and it's already gorgeous. This is a climbing hydrangea vine. Uh, not too invasive either. I mean, it's going to climb really nicely. Put this up against an old oak tree and just let it do its thing. Now, guys, sometimes when cougar variegated first leaves out, it looks a little greener. And as you can see here, this is the variegation starting to show up more and more in the foliage. Yeah, those really intense ones were more midsummer. Yeah, the new growth flushes during the summer are extremely variegated. Uh, so you'll see some new growth flushes that are extremely variegated or a little more towards the summer. But, I mean, this is just such an amazing plant. It's everything you love about hydrangeas in a climbing shape that's variegated. And so... You want to give these climbing hydrangeas something to climb on. Typically, a rock wall that's you know old, that's got a lot of crevices, they can climb on that. Shout they out to cl- Doug McDougal. He said he just got six of these. <laughs> oh, man. You can take these. You can plant them uh, on a tree. You can plant these on a fence. I mean, there's so many fun ways to grow these climbing hydrangeas. And, yes, climbing hydrangeas bloom. I mean, you get everything on hydrangea anomala, subspecies pedialaris cougar variegated. I mean, this is a selection that was brought from Japan that is extra special with that uniquely styled variegation. FTSN said, good looking out. I didn't realize it was St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, dude, you better be careful. He'll be out there getting pinched. So we got our green on. Uh, I, I laughed. My mom's always thought she was Irish and recently found out that she is majority Scottish. So we did a, a DNA test and found out she was like 80% Scottish. <laughs> so I, I tease her a little bit. She still has a lot of Irish ancestry as well so guys we just brought back hydrangea serrata oamachi nishiki this is a variegated japanese mountain hydrangea uh, this is a tree that was brought back from japan and really this plant is pretty spectacular i mean it's got this weird sand dusting like variegation across the center of the foliage and it is so unique and so different but it has some really nice blooms to it as well i mean these blooms or more of that almost lace cap Japanese mountain style hydrangea uh, bloom, which is unique you where you get those blooms that are fully developed on the outside with that different style blossom in the center. This is another one of my favorite hydrangea guys. This again, when the foliage is the flower, the flower is a bonus. Uh, That's a picture I took with my cell phone in the middle of it. You know, we cut back shrubs a lot of times too early. And I think sometimes hydrangeas, can be special for that fall color. So uh, this one, uh, you know, Omachi Nishiki, I've had it hit some crazy shades in the fall. So I say don't cut it back too early. Like, enjoy this one. It is one of my all-time favorite variegated hydrangeas. Uh, I know we first saw this one in a plant auction. I believe it might have even been IPPS or the Conifer Society auction. I don't remember. I think it was actually the Conifer Society. And this went for a crazy amount at auction. And uh, we were able to obtain it slightly after that and get it into production. It was a, it was probably 10 plus years ago we saw this at auction. And I mean, that price was insane for a liner. And on our website now, you can actually go through and look at all the different photos. Longwood Chimes is back on the website. 
and you can actually go through and click and see all these different photos and choose which ones you want to look at. And you can just click on it, and that, that photo becomes larger. So then you can click on the different photos and allow those to be what you can actually see and enjoy all these different photos that Brian's taken from photos we've been allowed to use. Um, it's a pretty awesome way now to, to go through the website and see everything. Uh, Earl's Gold, uh, relisted back on the website. This is a deciduous azalea Earl Somerville selection that's got these huge golden trusses. And so this is a rhododendron ostrinum. The ostrinums add a lot of vigor into the native azaleas. Um, and so this is a plant that can get established pretty easy with all native azaleas. Give them some organic matter when planting and good drainage. Just yeah. like a Japanese maple, they want good drainage. This one's going to work 5B through 9. Definitely go back and check out our video on our favorite uh, Earl Somerville introductions. Uh, I believe it was before we were doing top fives. I think we probably did more than five on this one. But definitely go check it out. We kind of highlight some of our favorite uh, azaleas that he selected and put them all in one little grouping. And actually, it's a, it's a, you know, a lot of times our maple content dominates here. But I went back and checked up on that one. It was several thousand views in already. I mean, our maple content does tend to dominate. We're Mr. Maple. Uh, sometimes our azalea content doesn't get quite the views our maple content gets. But that one's getting some love. So these plants here, the southern indica azaleas, this is a one called King's White. And this is a zone 8 through 10A plant. So we, this is a little bit outside of our zone. But for people that are down in the heat of the south, if you're looking for an azalea that's extremely heat tolerant, that's going to do really well, these southern indica azaleas like King's White will typically make a larger flowering shrub. This one here is going to get 6 feet in height and width in 10 years. And it gives you some really nice white blooms. I mean, those southern indicas, they were developed for those high heat situations they're real popular in the Alabamas, the Floridas, those high heat zones, because these azaleas thrive and do well in those hotter climates. Grayson said, uh, my fiance forgot it was St. Patty's Day and our anniversary, so my maple budget just got a little bit bigger. Yeah, use, use every <laughs> edge you can get in there, man. That's that's the way it works right there. I, that, that's a good plan. Uh, I really appreciate all the regulars. There's so many regulars hopping in here in the chat. Uh, if you haven't ever experienced one of these live, uh, we have a lot of regulars that hop in that chat and make it a lot of fun. Uh, guys, that's why I do the premieres, because I, I just like the chat going on. It's funny, Brian was laughing. We did a Grafton video this morning, and half the time the chat wasn't discussing the Grafton video. It goes into a mind of its own. Sometimes it's all completely different topics, but I appreciate you tuning in. So, guys, Magenta Rose Flame is back on uh, Mr. Maple again. Again, this is a rhododendron ostrinum, so this is plant's going to be a little more vigorous than some of the other uh, native azaleas. This is going to be azalea zones five through nine. Mm -hmm. And this is one six foot by four foot in 10 years. But on a uh, rhododendron astrinum, those are the Florida flame azaleas. Some crazy and, pinks on there. Yeah. I mean, and you get some just amazing pinks. People think of rhododendron astrinum, they're thinking of that gold to yellow. Mm -hmm. And this is a hybrid with that pink, those pink blooms. Another but, deciduous native, too. Another one by Earl Somerville. But the blooms on this are amazing. We got a lot of photos now on our website that we've taken um, of magenta rose flame. And this is just such an awesome plant to use out in the landscape. This is actually a photo by one of our friends, uh, Patrick Thompson, down at Auburn University. And magenta rose flame just makes such a good blooming uh, native azalea for you. I mean, this is going to be a really good pink. I mean, it's going to be easy for a lot of people to grow being a rhododendron ostrinum. Mm -hmm. And again, with all native azaleas, uh, you know, probably read this in the descriptions all the time. Give them good organic matter when planting. So you get some leaves and things mixed underneath when you're planting. And good drainage. I mean, just like the Japanese maples, maybe even more so, the native azaleas want good drainage. So keep that in mind whenever you're planting your native azaleas. Uh, full disclosure, Tim and I really like the native azaleas. In fact, one of our long-term goals here at Mr. Maple is to actually develop a tissue culture lab. So we're, we're actually working on some of the property. Uh, there's a property very close to the nursery that's becoming a full-time propagation facility. And our goal is to really start on that this, this year. Uh, we're going to build some permanent graft houses, some permanent rooted cutting houses. And then our goal, and it probably won't happen in 2023, but our goal is to actually start on a full-on tissue culture lab. Guys, Fun Flower Friday hit today at 10 a.m. 
A lot of these plants are live right now. Some may settle out in the next little while. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can always go hit that notify me button if you're going to try to purchase something and something's sold out. You can hit that notify me button, plug your email address in, and we'll send a reminder out to you when these trees become available again. You can sign up for our weekly emails. That includes our 10 at 10 email on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and our Fun Flower Friday where we put our 10 fun flowering items on every single Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Our guys are open house. Again, we've got that information for you on our open house here on our website. Um, the early bird plant sale is going to be ending soon. So go ahead and take advantage yeah, don't of don't slip on that one. That's some great deals on there. It's uh, That will be ending before open house, full disclosure. Uh, so it may be even sooner. Uh, that one's not going to be up much longer. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun things ready for you at open house, but that early bird plant sale is ending soon. So if, you, if that's something you're interested in, uh, you can always check out. If you're coming to open house, if there's something you see on there that's already discounted, a great way to do it is to go ahead and check out, you know, and, and you can get rid of the shipping on that and pick it up at open house. What's going on, Corbin? Sorry, I just misclicked something. You guys are good. Uh, on the early uh, bird plant sale, you can check out, leave a note on there that says, hey, everybody, you know, hey, I want to pick this up at open house. And you can check out using the code do not ship. And you can pl- put that in to the discount code section. Hit apply, and you'll see that shipping come off. And leave a note on there that says, I want to pick this up at Open House the 23rd or the 24th. We'll have a whole so, crew organizing those for you. And uh, they'll be you know, our normal checkout area, guys. Uh, again, there's going to be some really big plants. We're going to have a ton of 10-gallon material. There's never been more stuff ready here at Mr. Maple. So there's going to be a ton of just rare and interesting plants. And we've got more stuff moved up than humanly possible. I don't even know how we've gotten things done. We've done this week <laughs> and we still have a lot to do before open house. So if we look frazzled in any of these lives, we're getting it ready for you guys. It's a major undertaking. When we open up these days, we have to pull all the orders that are established for that week already. We have to get a few things out that are going to be listing that week. And it's, it's a huge undertaking. So I hope you guys appreciate that. I love that you guys hop in that live chat. I was teasing you earlier about it, not being on point or not being on topic, but guys, it's so much fun. And uh, I just love the conversations that are had there. So guys, 24th, 25th, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the 24th, 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday, the 25th. Again, don't wait until 5 p.m. to show up on Friday and don't wait till noon to show up on Saturday because we do have a hard cutoff. That's when people are needing to go finish checking out at that point. Make sure you show up early enough so that you can actually shop we're going to have more plants available than we've ever had mm-hmm. at any of our open houses on those days. So keep in mind, there's going to be a ton of plants becoming available those days at the open house. Guys, we're going to have a ton of Mr. Maple merch at this open house as well. It's going to be t-shirts and hats this time. A ton of really interesting t-shirts. We made some funny ones. Uh, you've seen some of our people wearing some of those, those t-shirts, like the, uh, the top five. The, uh, you know, there's a ton of them. Mr. Maple crew. There's just a ton of cool shirts that we'll be we'll be uh, having available at Open House. Eventually, we're going to have us a merch barn here on our location. So that was my wife's kind of little brainchild there, and and uh, Carl and Amy kind of got together and made it happen for our merchandise. So we'll be getting uh, more and more merchandise in stock. That's going to be coming on the website not too long. We're still waiting for a few more things. Our accountant has to fix the the boring end of the stuff. But uh, since we're a farm, we have to do things a little bit differently. But that's coming soon where you can check out and get merch off the website. But there's going to be all the merch available that we have right now at Open House. So if you like wearing Mr. Maple hats and stuff like that, we'll have a ton of selection and that stuff and a ton of funny T-shirts. We're also hoping to have some hats that have the new logo for our Mr. Maple show. You can see that Matt's wearing it right now. It's a logo we built that's actually got Mr. Maple and then a hot blonde leaf in the center, and then show right after. Um, having some of those hats available at the open house as well. There might not be many of those. We've got a bunch getting made. We're hoping they'll get in in time. Um, but we're hoping that those will be available as well for the first time at the Mr. Maple Open House. Trippy Turtle says, I'll drive from Cali to North Carolina for a seven-gallon red panda. Well, I don't think we'll have any seven gallons this time, but there may be some surprises. Tim and I have been talking about some uh, how we want to approach things. We may have some uh, Easter eggs to go find. We may have a special table, first come, first serve. I don't know, but there'll be some cool things at Open House that you hadn't seen before. 
But guys, this live chat, if you like more things like this, uh, make sure to smash that like button, put in the comments, say, hey guys, I like this live chat. I mean, Matt and I can do more of these if you want. Um, we, we're definitely able to do it. We've got an awesome crew now right. who can handle a lot of the things behind the scenes that normally we'd be out there doing right now. And that's often why, you know, you don't see me sometimes at 10 a.m. when we're or 9 a.m. whenever the 10 at 10 videos list because I'm starting people off each day. I'm able to get more and more into that as we've got a great crew who can do more of the things without us. Yeah, I see uh, Maple Maniac. I don't know if you bought the shirt before, but we definitely have it. The uh, I'm just here to help carry plants shirt. Those are funny. Uh, <laughs> it's a great shirt for the uh, the companion you drag along on your on your plant adventures. Guys, Fun Flower Friday. Take advantage of those plants. Um, some really cool plants listening right now. And take advantage of those savings right now with those early bird. I mean, there's some really cool plants. We did a whole live on the early bird plant sale. Where we go through and discuss our favorites. There are definitely some cool things right now to take advantage of, like Celebration. That's not going to be on sale for a long time. Better to take advantage of it while it's on sale right now. And uh, just, again, the 2023 open house. Make your plans right now. Get your hotel room. Make sure you're here right when we open. It's the, really the best time to get here because you have longer to shop, and there's so much stuff to see. I mean, there's so many plants that will be out there we're going to have cool plants for everybody. But you get the first pick if you're here first. Yeah, there's going to be some crazy stuff, guys. I uh, really appreciate you guys hopping in here on the chat. Let us know if it's something you want to do more regularly. Uh, we love just our whole community we're building, and that's why we do those premieres. It's because we like having a Maple community. We like having uh, our, our podcast be our weekly talk show about Japanese maples. But we love those premieres and those live chats because I just think they're community building. They're fun to get in here. They're fun to see how everybody's doing. Uh, you know, I'm always, like, if I'm driving, like, Sunday evenings, full disclosure, I'm normally on the road back from my wife's family, and I've got I've got it on in the car. My kids are suffering through the podcast because they want to hear kids' songs, and my wife's sitting there, and she's saying, hey, Matt, somebody asked this question, and she's typing it up while I'm driving home. <laughs> so I've normally got Amy there replying to everybody. But we love that community. Uh, it's something I, I hate when I miss and we love to be involved there and just kind of build that that camaraderie. We love to hear how your gardens are doing, how your trees are doing, and and we love that you guys continually join in. It's it's so much fun. Guys, how do you like the the new website that Nigel's put out? I mean, one of the things that I love the most right now about this is the Easy Shop feature. I think it's changed the game on a lot of azaleas for us. If you come in here to the Easy Shop, you click on Shop Azaleas, then you can come through here and you can look at the azaleas versus rhododendrons. And then you can come down through here and choose your evergreen versus your deciduous. So you can go up through here and say, I want to shop the evergreens. And you can shop by color. You can shop by group. And there's so many fun ways to do this. I mean, say you love the Kurume azaleas. You love the, the ones that were selected by samurais. A lot of these, like Pink Pearl... And these other ones are ones that bloom so much that you can barely see the leaves. And so you can shop all the Kurume azaleas. Or you can come through here and shop the Satsuki azaleas because you want to turn them into bonza. And these are the azaleas that make the best bonza, are the Satsuki azaleas. So there's so many fun ways now to go in and learn about these azaleas. You can go through and shop by the different hybrids. You can go through and shop by the ones that are native versus evergreen. Hey, full disclosure is Gimmer is, uh, is Nigel there guys. So all you guys compliment the new website. Yeah, that's him right there. He's the guy keeping everything looking fresh there, uh, running updates all the time, making sure everything's working. We've got all the bugs out recently for, I know there were a couple things that would say like you're updating too frequently. I think all those things are now fixed. Nigel's got us, you know, looking better than ever on there. Uh, so shout out to him. That's is Gimmer there in the chat. He's also a mod. Uh, so many cool things though, coming soon. Um, uh, one thing, uh, uh, Michael James said, which is kind of funny. And that's uh, maple maniac. He said, we should put a golden ticket in the merch sales for, <laughs> for <a> red panda. <laughs> I, I like this kind of ideas. Like you, 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 you say that in jest, but I do like those kind of ideas. I, I'm a fan of the, of the fun things. Uh, yeah, we might do some golden tickets. That might be a good idea. Maybe we do some golden ticket giveaways. I, I like the Charlie and the chocolate factory. 
I'll, I'll sing full imagination if Tim will dance again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I will dance. We know I'll dance. <laughs> will you actually sing? I will. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, really funny. Uh, you know, just appreciate you guys hopping in there, guys. There's so much going on, and there'll definitely be some surprises at Open House. We'll, we'll make sure there's some good things worth your time. Now, we won't have a million of everything, but there'll be some good things out there. And uh, we're still figuring out how to put all that together. I hope everybody has an awesome week this week. Uh, we're thinking about doing these on Mondays and Fridays tentatively. We like things that rhyme, so we're thinking live at 11.05 right now. That gives our our main video at least two hours to breathe, so it gets some views before we put out another one. So uh, we're thinking about going live uh, this Monday at 11.05. So if you like the lives, be looking for those. And 11.05 is a good time frame for us because we can make sure everything's going here at the nursery, but then kind of hop back in here. And we're not right on top of our 10 at 10 or our Front Flower Friday release. Again, guys, we've got another more cold weather coming in this weekend. Protect your plants. People always ask us, they say, should I protect my plants? That typically means you know you need to. So go ahead and protect your plants. We've got that cold spell coming in. Protect them for this weekend. For us here in Western North Carolina, once we get past Wednesday, I think we're pretty solid. Maybe even Tuesday. Once we get past the weather Tuesday to Wednesday morning, uh, we're going to be pretty solid for the foreseeable future. So, you know, really get out there, protect your plants, do everything you can. We've got a whole video on um, how to protect your Japanese maple during a frost. Trippy turtle, which is and a how very to protect your Japanese maple during <laughs> a cold snap. Trippy turtle, which is already making me laugh because Tim's like first email was like yo-yo bug boy and turtle boy. And but it trippy was. turtle has, I'm just here for Tim's dance moves <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> so I kind of sabotaged him with that yesterday. We are going by some yellows and I'm like, hey, Tim, why don't you do your best Carlton? So he starts throwing on the move. And then I realized then, uh, in shorts, you could throw some music in there. So I kind of sabotaged him with that one. <laughs> but, uh, hey, we love doing those shorts. Brian and, and Corbett have been going around getting us a lot of shorts, which are a lot of fun. And uh, we hope it gives you an idea what it's like being around Mr. Maple. We want to make you feel like you're part of the team here and kind of see you behind the scenes with those shorts. So I hope those are fun. But, uh, hey, guys, we ha appreciate you hopping in here. That's kind of the, uh, the Q&A and the news for today. And uh, we'll probably hop in here live Monday and do another one if we get a chance to. You never really know what's going on at our nursery. Might not have time Monday. We'll see. There, there might be some other things going on. But uh, we really appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll make an announcement in our Facebook group the next time we have a chance to go live. Take care. God bless. And have an awesome day, y'all.